Flux AI has released their dev version to the public and it's making waves in the world of AI image generation. The images you're seeing here, they're all generated by Flux. In this tutorial, I'm gonna give you an honest in-depth look at how it works. We'll explore the best prompting techniques and experiment with various generations using Flux AI. To get started, head over to replicate.com and create an account. You'll need to set up payment details, but don't worry, you only pay for what you use. There's no subscription or minimum spend. For transparency, I want to clarify that I'm not sponsored by Flux or Replicate. All the money spent in this tutorial is coming out of my own pocket. Unlike some AI tools with monthly subscriptions, Flux operates on a pay-per-use model. Each image costs about three cents to generate. You get roughly 30 images for a dollar. I'd say that's pretty affordable. Once you're logged in, search for Flux and choose the dev version. You'll see a simple interface with a text box for your prompt. We'll start with something simple. A cute kitten riding a skateboard in the rain, wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Photorealistic. Before we generate, let's break down the prompt structure. We've described the main subject, what it's doing, the setting, additional details, and the style we want. This structure helps Flux understand exactly what we're looking for. Now hit that run button and let's see what Flux creates. And there it is, our first Flux generated image. Pretty impressive. Now let's try something more complex. How about a futuristic cityscape at night with flying cars and neon signs? Cyberpunk style, low angle shot. Let's go ahead and generate that. That's pretty great. I've spent about six cents so far on these two images. Let's try one more generation. How about an astronaut playing golf on the moon, Earth visible in the background, cinematic lighting, the contrast between the spacesuit and the golf club, the lunar landscape, and that beautiful Earth in the background, it all comes together beautifully. One more thing you can do is to experiment with the guidance scale. Try the same prompt with values of 7, 11, and 15 to see how it affects the output. This will give you a good feel for how to fine tune your results. If you want full control and are comfortable with a bit of technical setup, I'll share with you some advanced techniques that can really elevate your generations. Start with subject, action, or state, setting, and then style. Add specific details about appearance, lighting, and mood. Use artistic references like in the style of Van Gogh or like a 1980s movie poster. Experiment with negative prompts to exclude unwanted elements. Here's an example of a well-structured prompt. A majestic golden eagle soaring through a misty mountain range at dawn. Hyper-realistic style, dramatic lighting, vibrant colors, Canon EOS. R5 photograph, f2.8 aperture, ISO 100. You might be wondering how Flux measures up against other AI image generators out there. Well, let me break it down for you. First off, Flux's prompt understanding is off the charts. It's like, it can read your mind sometimes. Picking up on little details you didn't even know you wanted. It's pretty impressive stuff. Oh, and here's a weird one, hands, I know, sounds specific, but if you've played around with AI art, you know hands can be difficult to generate. Flux nails them more often than not, which is pretty impressive. Now, I'm not saying Flux beats everyone at everything, Midjourney still has an edge with certain artistic styles, and Dolly 3 can get pretty creative with interpreting prompts. Flux AI is constantly evolving, with new features and improvements being added regularly. We can expect to see even better prompt understanding, more realistic outputs, and possibly integration with other AI technologies in the future. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the cutting edge of AI and content creation. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.